Hey, what's up everyone? I want to give a demonstration on how to send encrypted email. Um, for those that don't know, regular email is actually not very secure at all. There have been several cases in the news lately where people's emails have been hacked. So I'm going to give a demonstration using a tool called Mailvelope. It's a free tool. It's a great gift to the world. Uh, Mailvelope leverages PGP, another great gift to the world. Uh, PGP is an encryption method. It's been around for a long time and it is very effective. There's no known way of breaking it directly. So with used properly, uh, you shouldn't have much to worry about. So to get it going, we're going to make this so you can use it for your regular email like on Gmail, uh, Yahoo, Outlook.com, um, iCloud. So we're going to go to Mailvelope.com and you have to install an add-on. So I've gone there and I'm going to scroll down. I'm using Firefox here. <clears throat> Just click on that, allow, hit install, basic stuff. Now over on the right here, it's going to say, uh, this <clears throat> This lock appears, it says Mailvelope. Great. You click on options. Now let's say I'm trying to communicate with my buddy here, Mr. Bit, and he sends a message saying, let's set up encrypted email. You actually never need to talk on the phone or meet in person or anything. You can start via regular email and turn it into um, encrypted email stuff. So, but what you first need to do is create a uh, public key, public and private key. So to do that, you go to generate key and ask for your name. You can put whatever you want here, but other people will be able to see it. So you don't want to put something offensive or something you're embarrassed about. And same thing with email, although it's a little easier if you put your real email because it synchronizes with other address books nicely. So it's probably best to do that. There we go. Put in somebody's name who definitely could have used Mailvelope earlier this year. Um, for your settings, 4096 is definitely what you want to use. You could use lower ones, but that just increases the highly unlikely chance that someone can break through and read your message. So 4096 is safe. You need a password. I'd recommend at least 20 characters, a couple random words, and maybe some numbers should probably be safe enough. Um, but the longer the better, so I'm going to put one in here. All right, I've got a 21 character password. Now you will have to enter this somewhat frequently, so you don't want it to be something that you really impossible to remember. To remember, um, upload your public key to the Mailvelope server. That's up to you. It just makes it people for easier for people to email you. I'm gonna hit generate. This can take anywhere from 10 seconds to about two minutes, depending on mostly just luck. But I'm gonna pause while it uh, f creates my key. And it completed. It took about 90 seconds. If I scroll up and look at my display keys, this is kind of like a Rolodex of uh, keys that you can communicate with. Right now I only have the account that I created, but um, if I can dig in, I'll see it's actually a set of two keys. There's a public and private key. I'm going to grab both these by clicking on export. You grab one or the other or both. I'm going to grab both by hitting control A, control C, paste them into two text. And here we go. The public key is one that you can give to anybody. It is There's no risk in handing it out. You have to give it to someone for them to encrypt a message directly to you. Um, but there's no harm in sending this out, putting it on an email signature, pasting it on your doorway. It's, it's You'll notice it's shorter than your private key over here. The private key, intuitively, you want to keep private. It says private up here. This one says public. Um, the private key is basically a direct method to um, decrypt all of your messages. They would have to get through the password you set up, but you probably don't want to take that chance. So protecting your private key is really critical to maintaining good good uh, privacy. So I wouldn't even save this in plain text in the cloud. I'd um, encrypt it somewhere else or hide it somewhere with it where you just don't want to risk losing it. But now that we have a public key, you want to share this with some with your buddy, or I want to share this with my buddy, so that he can send me encrypted messages. I'm going to jump back over to Firefox and this conversation left off here. I'm just going to write back in regular text saying, hey, I have a public key. Here it is. And I can just paste that in there. I don't care if everybody under the sun reads this. I'm just going to send it because all that allows someone to do is send me an encrypted message. They can't read any. I'm going to jump over to that other account. Here we go. I'm going to hit show. The message comes through. Now, uh, Mailvelope intuitively, not intuitively, but automatically recognizes any sort of PGP information. So it says it recognizes begin PGP text, public key. So it's it's got the option to add in this public key. So I'm just going to click this right here. And it says success. You'll notice that if I go to the bottom here, 
it uses the name and the address that I gave it before. So when I said be careful on putting in some name that you'd be ashamed of, this is an example of where it would be exposed. I mean, it, it's part of the software, so <clears throat> just put in something you expect other people to see. So now my friend can write back to me an encrypted message. So the way he does that, or both of us, was you reply, and again, we're in regular Gmail here. I'm in Chrome, but the other one was in, in uh, Firefox. It works the same. You click on this little Compose button, and then you can start typing away. It recognizes my address because I'm in the key ring, and I can start typing. All right, and I put in some sensitive information that I'm going to send back to myself, and I've also included the public key for this account. Now, now both accounts will have each other's public key so they can send messages freely to each other. So I'm going to hit encrypt. Now by hitting encrypt it actually knows to paste this encrypted method into the message over here. So it takes this window and pastes it into here. Um, if you get caught in between you might want to be careful that you don't accidentally close the window because then you could lose your message. But I hit encrypt. It sends this long completely illegible message back to my PG Code Writer um, account. So I'm going to hit send. Jumping back over to Firefox. There it is. And I'm going to open up that message. Now, again, Mailvelope recognizes this as a message, so it says gives me this kind of glow around the message, which the message itself, again, is completely illegible. In fact, Google's trying to translate it as Danish. I don't know how I'd feel about that if I was Danish, but I'm going to click on the envelope. And because I entered my password previously, it saves it for 30 minutes, but it will um, decipher this encrypted message. It has all of the key information. So if you wanted to send all of this sensitive information, you could password, social security numbers. Mailvelope allows you to do that. Now, I also sent the public key as an encrypted method, which it didn't need to be encrypted, but easy enough. I'm going to copy this here, and I'm going to go back to my Mailvelope here. Here we go, and I'm going to hit import keys, not generate key like I did before, because I'm just going to paste this one in. Uh, that's left over from something else I paste in there, and I hit import, and it says down below, success, public key, blah, 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 Emperor Trump. That was a goofy name I made for this account as well. If I go back to my display keys list, I now have two entries. I've got the original one I generated, and I have the second one I just copied and pasted in. You'll notice the second one only has one key here, while my original one has two. And as I'm sure you can guess, that's because <clears throat> This one has a public and private key, while this Emperor Trump one only has a public key. My friend and I do not share each other's private keys with each other, only our public. So now we can basically continue to send messages back and forth encrypted with each other. A um, couple other random notes. If you lose your password or your private key, you're out of luck. Mailvelope is not a customer service recovery option, um, so you have to protect that on your own. Um, if you have more than one people on an email thread, let's say I had wanted to reply to a bunch of people, you can actually encrypt it with everyone's key so that everyone can read the message. In fact, when you send a message, um, it will have um, you, you'll be allowed to read your own me, your own message. Um, so it, um, when you're looking at you know your sent mail and you want to read it, you can see what you sent to somebody else, which is nice. In previous versions, you couldn't do that. Um, Disadvantages are obviously you can't search like you would a normal Gmail message, but that's a small price to pay to have uh, secure messaging. So again, big thanks to Mailvelope for making a great product, and I hope you find this useful. And just think, you know, a lot of a lot of campaigns and a lot of important people could have really saved themselves some aggravation just using this simple tool.